Now, pensioners have begun to set agenda for the new bus that will take over from Sharon Nikiazo, the former executive secretary of the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, PTAD. They are demanding that the incoming helpsmen uh, build on existing structures that have so far improved the system. A correspondent, Chinemarum Joseph, has details. We had unimaginable problems problems of serious magnitude with verification. Most of the verification exercises were, so to speak, fake, bogus, deceitful. That was the chairman of the Nigeria Union of Pensioners on the plight of his members when Sharon Ikeazo, the former executive secretary of the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, assumed office. These issues, he now says, have been greatly resolved, except for a few. Pensioners and representatives from partner agencies say the success recorded so far is as a result of the introduction of needed policies. These innovative innovations include regular meetings with the concerned stakeholders on pension-related matters. There is a perturb in other EFCC and ICP. I'll be surprised if anybody comes to succeed and things go worse than they are. They should always get better because the systems are there. An agenda was also set for the incoming executive secretary. We want her to address uh, entitlement of next of kings, deceased, dead pensioners. We expect her to raise the standard she is there. Sharon, who attended this last interactive session before her resumption at the Ministry of Environment, says she would continue to ensure that issues concerning pensioners are quickly addressed. I might not be in the Ministry of Pensions, but once Mama Pension, I remain Mama Pension. I will always be speaking out for the pensioners, defending their rights and making sure their dues are paid to them. Already, President Muhammadu Buhari has appointed Choma Ejikemi to head the directorate. It is only expected that outstanding issues highlighted by these pensioners are given accelerated attention. Chinemarim, Joseph, STV News, Abuja.